So I'm recording a tune uh, as a request to a new friend, Melinda, uh, from San Antonio, Texas, who's going to be a great tin whistle player. And she wanted to learn the tune, The Glass of Beer. Uh, it's actually kind of a neat reel. Um, on the session, it's tune 188. I'm teaching it in B minor. So this is the fourth version of the tune that's listed, um, added by Jack B. And it's... so. So it's B minor, F sharp, C sharp. Um, not a hard tune. Uh, it's good if you want to practice your B rolls on the tin whistle. And um, yeah, we'll get to it. If you see, my books are uh, totally disorganized. I'm starting the packing process. I'm moving to Cleveland, Ohio uh, in a month and a half. Um, that's where I'm from originally. So I'm leaving Boston to move to Ohio to kind of write the dissertation and be closer to family and do priesting things as what priest is apt to do. So here we go. I'm going to play the first part. Um, the A part, the B part, the, it's, uh, each, the A part's played once, the B part is played once. Um, I'm going to get it in there. So uh, first part. So it's really repetitive. So let's just break it apart into um, its phrases and then we'll knock it out really quick. So the first phrase that we'll do, D, E, F, B, B, F, B, A, B, F, B, B. Now I'm saying B, B, but I'm gonna roll those. So it would be, so, if you were not playing a role, we'll round out the phrase. So D E F B roll F B A B F B roll E. Hard to play roll slow. One more time. And you'll also notice I'm tonguing the beat notes. There's some tin whistle teachers who don't like tonguing. I do. And I like it because I think Irish music is made for dancing. Dancing needs articulated rhythms and a steady beat. And the tongue is what provides it. So one more time, I'm tonguing, so I tongue the F, I tongue the B roll, F, I just tongue all over the place. I mean, just use your tongue, it's good for you. Okay, second phrase, D, E, F, B roll, F, E, D, F, A, F, E. So, D, E, F, B, roll, F, that's a held note, E, D, F, A, F, E. So just that second little phrase. Again. So let's put the two phrases together. One more time. Now we're going to go, this is, and this is the beauty of the tune. The pickup is going to be D, E, F, B roll, F, B, A, B, F, B, roll, E. So it's identical to the first phrase that we just learned. So the third phrase is the first phrase. Okay, so let's do one, two, and three. First three phrases.
there's a great part, the fourth phrase is the same as the second. So it's D E F B roll F E D F A F E. So let's just play the first part one time through. So it's it's A B A B. You know what I mean? Like so phrase one, phrase two, then repeat phrase one, phrase two, and you've got the first part. Pick up and lead like the lead into the, the second part, F E, and I'm just gonna play the second part one time for you, and then we'll break it apart. And fortunately the pattern is the same. It's there's only really two phrases at hand the first and second, and then it's duplicated for the third and fourth. So we're just going to, we'll knock through this fairly quickly. So the, the, the pickups, will, pickup notes will be F, E, D, E, F, E, D, E, F, D, E, D, B, A. One more time. F, E, D, E, F, E, D, E, F, D, E, D, B, A. Okay, one more time. Second phrase, D, E, F, E D F A F E F E. Then we'll go. You'll see why I did that in a moment. So you, you get in a moment. So second phrase one more time. So that's actually the whole second part. So let's do phrase one one more time. D E F E D E F D E D B A. Phrase two. D E F E D F A F E. And then we're going to go into phrase one again. Phrase three and then four. And so to go from phrase two to phrase three, F, E, D, B, F. Let's do it again.
the session, this tune will get played, but you can play it six times. And the thing is, there are other keys available. So you can play like an E minor, an A minor. That's super cool. I'm going to just play it um, like two times, maybe three, uh, with variations of how I might play it. Not how I always play because I don't always play any of them the same way. But it'll just give you a sense to get it into your ear of a different way of thinking about the tune. there you go. I hope it's a, a helpful tune for you. And uh, go Melinda.